Yeah, <clears throat> the King of Kings coming out of Alabama, man. Oh, man. Just want to say a rest in peace to all the cowardice heavyweights out there that are running, scumbagging up the division. The real champ, Deontay Wilder. The lineal champ, Tyson Fury. Showing it how it's done. Getting in each other's face. That's sitting there trying to hug each other and be all cute. It, it, the beef is so real that, man, Tyson Fury, I, I don't know if that's his dad or who that dude is, but that's a big dude. He was he was going in. He was trying to get all hyped up because the, the fight, this is the reality of what's going on, man. This type of sport, yes, I said sport because no everybody wants to call it a business and all this crap. Yes, business is a huge aspect of boxing, but it's a sport first. And, and once you learn that, you can enjoy it. You can sit back and, and deal with the dramatics and realize how much fun this should be coming from boxing. You know what I'm saying? Let's start with Tyson Fury. Came and weighing about 258. I think one of his floor speeds when he fought Klitsch was about 247. The dude's in shape. Let's, let's just deal with it. it I, like I had said to somebody before, there's no point. What, what's the purpose served by Tyson Fury fighting three or four more bums and 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 I mean to anything it's gonna make you less sharp. He's had two fights. He's coming back. He's had more preparation for this fight than Klitschko had for when he fought um Joshua. So let's cut the crap. That wilder that comes in uh at the end of this year, I mean excuse me, that Tyson Fury that comes in at the end of this year is gonna be the best version of Tyson Fury. And it's gonna be it's gonna be an amazing fight, man. Deontay Wilder's over there getting mad love. Hey, uh, what, who was that? I ain't gonna say his name. The bitches at Matchroom. I thought nobody in the UK knew Wilder. He was taking pictures with everybody. People's out there in crowds yelling out bomb squad. They know what time. Respect the champ and bow down. Oh, uh, damn. How how just some guy from Alabama get so many people yelling out his name? Oh, because he's not. That's the game you play. You know what I'm saying? This is what real fighters do. And a guy like Eddie Hearn is always going to lose because he's destroying the game. He's making boxing. He's so worried about his pockets, he doesn't care what he does to boxing in the process. You guys should care. If you're a hardcore fan like many of you, could, you claim to be, you should care. Eddie Hearn's come on here, he's being a flop. He's getting exposed. You can't, you can't raise your nose up in front of powerful men like 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 Shelly Finkel, like like Aaron, you know what I'm saying? Like the people, excuse me, like my man, oh, I can't believe he's like Al Heyman. You can't raise your nose up at them. I don't think there's gonna be consequences because you lose in purse bid. After, you're you're at your last line of defense, match room. You're sitting here trying to out purse bid people to get fighters because nobody wants to screw with you. And, and, and Anthony Joshua, shut your bitch ass up talking about my... In Motherfucker, we all your enemies because we are enemies of cowards. So you got a whole lot of enemies if you feel in that way. Of course they got together and fight. You won't fight them. You scary. You ain't got no heart. So when two real men see each other, they're in the same sport, in the same weight division, they want to fight. Because you're not going to say you're the champion and I'm in the same division in you and I say I'm the champion. That's how boxing works. Not all these analytics that you guys are trying to go over this, this, and that. You guys don't know that much about money. I've never seen so many people want to run off and get tricked off so fast. It's pathetic. Yo, boxing ain't, this ain't, this ain't no bullshit, man. This is real stuff. This is what fighting about. They're still in the spotlight. Nobody care about Joshua Fine for Vecchin. Yeah, he got his his zombie fans that are gonna come because they don't care. He could fight any bum and they won't care. Because they they know in their heart he's not the best. Me, as a Wilder fan, I, I won't accept him fighting no fucking C level fighters. No X you know what I'm saying? I couldn't I couldn't accept it. Wilder already fought the be the second best heavyweight at the time, who was Ortiz. Now he's getting Tyson Fury, who is now, I guess you could say, the second best fighter. 
Yeah. But that's how it's supposed to be because Deontay Wilder is number one. So every time somebody moves into the second best slot, that's when he gets to deal with him and gets to fight him. And that's how the game needs to work. So everything that Anthony Joshua does is trash. And in April, you already here. Here's the here's the clownery of this shit. You talking about fucking mandatories because you know your zombie fans are too stupid to know the fucking knowledge that unifications trump mandatories. You could have a hundred mandatories. As soon as you tell them them government bodies you want to unify, the mandatories go away. So please shut up. Just say you ain't going to fight them. That's, you know, that's why I think pisses me off the most about AJ. It's not that he's a, well, no, I, I don't like he's a bitch and he's a coward and, and he's a prior closet homosexual. But the fact that he wants to lie instead of this uh, saying to us that you're not ready and you're not man enough to take care of the champ. It's cool. We, I mean, we all know it. We see the bitch in your blood. We see it. We see it from afar. And then you see her worm. Look, I thought you didn't give a damn. I, I thought Wilder wasn't nobody. Why do you care what he's doing? I thought Fury was all these other things. Why do you care what he's doing? Fury said he wanted to fight you on his first fight back. You didn't want none of that smoke. So why do you care? You know what's funny is I don't even think I don't even think Deontay Wilder is is your enemy because he don't even see you as a challenge. You know what I'm saying? Let's say I'm on the battlefield and I got a set of elite warriors and then I got some dude who just joined and then I'm looking at him and he's shaking with fear. The elite warriors going to be like, I don't fight that dude. There's no glory in him. He's a coward. He's a kid. He ain't ready. But here's the worst part about it. You went out and clown, claimed that elite status and then turned around trying to say you weren't ready. Shut the hell up. Drop the belts. But like I said, the best the best two fighters in the world in the heavyweight division met face to face. Tyson Fury gonna take care of business. I'm not gonna say hopefully. He's gonna take care of business tomorrow. He's gonna box, he's gonna show some speed, he's gonna show the skill set. And here's the thing about it, man, there ain't no guarantee in this game. Wilder gets to bring his A game because Tyson Fury is not gonna be playing. And that's what's up. Yo, this is King of Kings calling out of Alabama. Yo, go ahead and subscribe. Hit me up, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I shoot a few videos. I ain't going to clutter your stuff up with a whole bunch of new videos. But, you know, I get on here from time to time when I got to get have to get real because I got some things to get off my chest. Always, every day, Alabama, to the day I die, Bond Squad, Tyson Fury, let's go.